Hello guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will show you how to use a differential pressure transmitter to measure the level of a liquid. We could measure a level either in an open tank or in a closed tank. That means a pressurized tank. We'll evaluate these two cases. Case number one, an open tank means that it's open to the atmosphere and the pressure of the liquid is equal to the atmospheric pressure that we'll consider equal to zero in this case. Case number two, a closed tank means that the pressure inside the tank is a value different of the atmospheric pressure that could be positive or negative, even zero. But what's a DPT, Differential Pressure Transmitter? A DPT that has two process connections called high and low pressure size. An electrical connection that gives a 4 to 20 milliamps in a predefined range. We see the H side, the L side, and the electrical connection. For example, let's consider a manometer. A manometer has a fixed range from 0 to 100 psi and cannot be changed. A DPT takes the difference of pressure between the high and low side of it, and that difference could be positive, negative, or zero. In the case of the transmitter, the range could be defined by the user. A DPT could be calibrated in this range shows. For example, 0 to 100 psi, minus 100 psi, 250 psi, 0 to 37 pascals. Using the 11 to 37 pascals range, we draw a graphic to see how this value corresponds to the electrical signal. 20 milliamps corresponds to 37 PA and 4 milliamps correspond to 11 PA and a value in the middle of 11 and 37, 24 PSI will be correspond to 12 milliamps. Imagine you are in a pool some meters under the water. You will feel the water pressure, for example, in your ears. The equation that says that the equation that says that the pressure on the liquid is equal to the specific weight times the distance from the surface to the point we want to know the pressure. This distance is called as height. We'll use that principle here. The pressure could be expressed as millimeters of water, inches of water, or millimeters of mercury. Analyzing the case of an open tank of 3.2 meters height, we consider the tank completely full at 3 meters. And we suppose that the tank will be filled with water. If the tank is empty, the pressure in the L side is zero. The pressure in the H side is also zero. If we connect the transmitter, how I did it. Then the differential pressure is zero for an empty tank and corresponds to four milliamps. If the tank is full, the pressure in the L side is zero the pressure in the H side is equal to 3000 millimeters of water. Then the differential pressure read, read by the transmitter is equal to 3000 millimeters of water for a full tank. And that will, that will correspond to 20 milliamps. The transmitter should be calibrated from zero to 3000 millimeters of water. If we make a graph of these values, we 
We developed the same example, but in this case we have the tank full of diesel. And we'll consider a specific gravity equal to 0.86. If the tank is empty, the differential pressure read by the transmitter is zero. When the tank is full, the differential pressure will be equal to 2050, 180 millimeters of water. The transmitter should be calibrated from zero to 2,580 millimeters of water. This case is an empty tank that will be filled with diesel, but the transmitter is installed some distance below the low level of the liquid in the tank. We suppose that the pipe from the bottom of the tank downward to the transmitter is filled with liquid. This distance in this example is 50 mm. When the tank is empty, the pressure in the low pressure side is zero. The pressure in the high pressure side is 430 mm of water. Note that the pressure is caused by the liquid inside the pipe. The differential pressure is 4 130 millimeters of water. When the tank is full, the pressure in the low side is zero. The pressure in the H side is equal to the specific gravity times the sum of 500 and 3000. If we plot these numbers, we obtain. Then we conclude that the transmitter should be calibrated from 430 to 3010 millimeters of water. That will correspond to zero to 100%. The case number two, a closed tank, we can see it as a pressurized tank. In this case, to measure the level inside a tank, we need to connect the low pressure side to the top of the tank. This pipe could be either full of the liquid in the tank or completely empty. These cases are named wet leg and dry leg, respectively. For the case of the dry leg, we calculate the level of the liquid in the same way we did for an open tank. And remember to keep the dry leg without liquid. A closed tank and a wet leg. When we have a wet leg, we suppose that the pipe from the top of the tank downwards to the transmitter is filled, completely filled with the liquid inside the tank, that is the wet leg. In this example, we suppose that the tank is pressurized at 1500 psi. When the tank is empty, the pressure on the outside is just 1500 psi. The pressure in the H side is equal to 1500 psi plus 3000 millimeters of water. pH PL As we know, the differential pressure seen by the transmitter is the pressure in the high side minus the pressure in the low side. We obtain minus 3000 millimeters of water for an empty tank. For a full tank, we can see that the pressure in the high side and the pressure in the low side is equal to 1500 psi plus 3000 millimeters of water. pH and PL. They are the same. Make a graph again to work it more clearly. The wet leg, the pressure inside the tank, the 
differential pressure is zero. If we plot these numbers, we obtain a different graph. For the 20 milliamps and for an empty full tank. We plot the values. Then we can say that the transmitter should be calibrated from minus 3000 to 0 millimeters of water. That will correspond to 0 to 100% of the tank. A closed tank could be found in a boiler, for example. Here we need to know the level of a liquid at the top drum of a boiler that should be around 50%. This means that the bottom half is liquid and the top half is steam. In this case, in the pipe that comes from the top of the drum, we use a condensing pot to avoid the heat to reach the transmitter and damage it. It could be named seal pot too. The condensing pot have two pipes. In the case we are measuring the level of the drum in a boiler, the pipe we see on the left is filled with steam. The pipe at the bottom of the tank has liquid, that's why we call it a condensing pot. For example, we have a 1500 PSI boiler and the two pipes are separated 600 mm from each other and the transmitter is installed 100 mm below. We can easily say that the transmitter should be calibrated from minus 600 to 0 mm of water. But is this true? We calculate it as we did it before for a closed tank with a wet leg. We analyze the case for the empty drum and always the wet leg is filled with liquid. Pressure on the edge side. Pressure on the L side. That's for an empty tank. If the tank is full, the pressure are the same in the H and in the L side. The differential pressure is zero. We plot these values and we prove that the transmitter should be calibrated from minus 600 to zero millimeters of water that will correspond to the zero to 100%. It's true. Thanks for watching.